Welcome to Location TV in London. Mark, how are you? Good. And you, Tanya? I'm great, thank you. Yeah, we're going to check out the latest developments at, at Old Bond Street and New Bond Street. Mark, where are we going to start? Yeah, we just saw the opening of the brand new Eto Boutique. Here the renovation of the Gucci store opposite the old Eto Boutique. Here the new Prada store. And let's go and see what happens on Old Bond Street and then on New Bond Street. Yeah, let's stroll along with the crowds. See you. There are many Swiss brands which just passed Acris. Yeah, and the Chatilla from Geneva. And uh, here at uh, Burlington Gardens, corner Savile Row, there is your Abercrombie & Fitch Boutique. This is the part of New Bond Street where all the jewelers have their boutiques. Yeah, we saw Chaumet, Harry Winston, the construction site of the Craft Diamonds Boutique. And Piaget. Yeah, and um, that's a new boutique here. How much rent do they have to pay? And this is the so-called Zone A here, and they're paying 965 um, pounds per square foot per year, which is in total 745 thousand pounds annually. Ooh, this is pretty much. Is this usual for a Sony? Yeah, you saw all the brands here, there is nothing free, so uh, you have to pay this rent, yeah. What was the key money they had to pay? Uh, the former 10 was Brooks and they paid them a premium of 1.9 million pounds. Yeah, that's... Uh... Hey, another Swiss brand, Chopard. Since when are they here? Since ages. Since I've been here the first time, I know this boutique. Yeah, and they are right in front of this flagship store of Esprit. It's fantastic, isn't it? Wow, it's a beautiful building. We've seen many construction sites, so this must be a very busy street. I would say this here is the busiest part of New Bond Street, yeah. Solange Azaguri Partridge is also a new shop, right? Yeah, it's one year old. It was the former La Ligue boutique and they are trading here on 280 square meters. Where do they belong to? They belong to also to label looks like uh, Bali and Jimmy Choo and a couple of other brands. Wow, hey. look at the Louis Vuitton Maison. This is incredible. It's roughly 2,000 square meters. Can you believe it? This is huge. Let's go inside. Oh, and there will be the new Chanel shop, right? Yeah, in the former Nicole Fahi on 929 square meters. And they're paying a record rent of 2.35 million pounds a year. Wow, are there other new records? There was another record two years ago when Hermes bought this store from Esprit. What kind of? Here at 75 million pounds. What? So this is it, 75 million. Yes, but the Esprit store we saw before is also not too bad. That's true. <laughs> We are still alive. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go into the boutique and see what's going on. Hublot, yeah, great idea. So this is it, the brand new boutique of Hublot in New Bond Street in London. When was the opening? 
uh, two months ago, I think it was June, mid of June. It was a great, uh, we had Ilina Stas to help us to cut the ribbon. You know, the. Hey, it was during Wimbledon, because Ilina Stas was a tennis player and he came just to cut the ribbon. Does this shop here has the same new concept uh, yes, as in Paris? It's a Peter Marino concept, as you can see. It, yeah, it looks it looks it, it the looks same. Very similar to to Place Vendôme, and in fact, uh, nothing here is special except that we are in the country of the Queen, and we have tea. <laughs> uh, who was in in this door before Hublot? Um, if I am right, uh, I think it was Furla with handbags. And uh, I guess there was also a key money to pay. Uh, to be honest, I have no clue, but you can imagine in this, uh, at this yeah, prominent exactly. location with these fantastic neighbors, but I don't know. You also had to pay key money? Yes, here? yes we had to pay very little here. Very little, not, yes. and not at uh, the... Paris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How high are the rents here? They are similar to Paris. You know, finally, uh, every city in the major street, uh, Madison, mm -hmm. uh, Bond Street, Place Vendôme, you have more or less the same. There are some exaggerations like Hong Kong. Hong Kong is very expensive, mm -hmm. terribly expensive. Uh, but here we had a good deal because we are on the part of mm -hmm. Bond Street that is just developing more and more. So Richard Green is coming as a neighbor here and uh, so we could uh, take it before Now we could sell it double already. Already, wow. You see, we, we could sell Place Vendôme, we could sell Ginza, we could sell Madison. <laughs> Actually, that's a good, good position. <laughs> <laughs> And what are, what are the future plans you have with uh, Hublot? Uh, to establish the success. Success is a long process and you, you reach it, or you think you have reached it one day, but then you must maintain. You must repeat. And that's the most difficult part of the success. How can I maintain it? How can I even develop it once I have reached it? So that's the goal, maintaining our success as it is, not becoming a fashion brand, uh, not giving back, uh, 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 reducing quality, uh, getting more and more involved in creativity, bringing new innovations and maintaining the brand at the high level where it is now. What is your favorite watch? That's the one I will wear. I usually wear my favorite watches and this, among all the favorite watches I have, this is la favorite of all. You know, that is the watch I like the most. Because that watch was made by me. Or you did it me, yourself. It, 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 <laughs> a lot of my ideas are in that watch. From the color, the movement, Everything is, it's, it's phenomenal. Yeah, it's that is my tool, uh, my toy. Your toy. <laughs> that's the new steam machine. Yes, that's the new steam <laughs> machine, exactly. You also got a, uh, a Hublot watch, let me see. I bought it uh, at Bahnhofstraße in nice. a Bios boutique, Bio uh, Jewelers, and um, I have it now for three years. So thank you very much for meeting us and for the interview. I wish you all the best for the future. Thank you. Where, where do we meet next? <laughs> <laughs> oh, where do we want to go next? At Bahnhofstrasse in Zurich. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. Probably we'll see us then. <laughs> no, thanks. And uh, yeah, take care. All the, all the best. Thank you. Bye. Wow, this is a beautiful shop. Wonderful, isn't it? Um, I've heard about that uh, old street, old Bond Street and New Bond Street were really famous for its art galleries, but there aren't uh, many left. There's still some uh, of them, the, like the Richard Green Boutique. They will open a new uh, gallery here. Next to Hublot. Yeah, directly here at this construction site and uh, next to Sotheby's also. What are we going to do next? Now we uh, look what happens at the former Mallet boutique. I've heard that Mallet will move soon and there will be a no new shop inside in a few months. 
When exactly? They will open a new Fendi boutique at the beginning of next year, maybe in summer next year, on 1,100 square meters. And what rent do they have to pay? A lot. 1.2 million uh, pounds. Uh, Pretty much. And? A premium of 1.7 million. Holy sh... Hey, there is Missoni. I really like this label. But it's empty. Did they move out or did they move in? They will move in. It's uh, brand new, as you can see. And what do you think, how many square meters are this? <sighs> Good question. I would say around 250. Yeah, perfect. And two floors, yeah. How much do they have to pay? Here they pay exactly 310,000 pounds a year. And the building was sold recently to a new owner at 9.5 million pounds, uh, which reflects a yield of roughly 3%. Wow! And here opposite, I would like to show you now the new coach boutique, or the construction site of the new coach boutique. I'm really looking forward. So there will be the first coach boutique in England, right? In Europe. Oh, um, and what was the key money they had to pay? Why do you think they paid the key money? Yeah, because I think this is usual here. Okay, there was Mulberry in before. They moved to uh, the other side, which we'll see later. And they paid uh, 1.5 million uh, pounds key money. Yeah. Phew, nice amount of money. 470 square meters. And when will they open? Very soon. I think at the end of August, beginning of September. We are too early, because I really need to buy a new handbag. But I would suggest you look in this brand new church boutique, which has the first time uh, clothes for women, shoes, handbags, purses, everything uh, you like. Yeah, nice colors. But you know what, I'll check it out later, so yeah. let's move on along the street. Look at the Anja Hindmarch boutique. Oh, nice. And a beautiful decoration. Oh, a Bali, another Swiss brand, even more sympathetic. Oh, this seems to be the end of New Bond Street. Almost at the next store is uh, Oxford Street. And we've seen many, many, many new boutiques and construction sites. The latest new boutique is behind us, the Core Spirit store. And opposite, very soon, will be five or six new stores also. So I really look forward to see them. So um, that was it from Location TV in London. I hope you had fun. I had it for myself. Thank you very much, Tanya. Thank you. And uh, wish you a nice time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.